Also developing tonight, a student was stabbed multiple times in Greeley this afternoon, just days after the start of the new school year. Another student has been arrested. It happened at Jefferson High School. That is where we find Denver 7 CB Cotton. CB uh, parents obviously were shocked uh, that you spoke with. Jessica Shannon, that's right. In fact, school let out about 15 minutes ago, so we've been able to talk to many parents about this scary incident. The good news, the student who was stabbed, he is expected to be okay. But this evening, as you can imagine, so many are still very, very shaken up. I want to share with you right now part of the video that was sent to us earlier. Take a look at your screen. We've blurred the video because these are all juveniles, but you'll still be able to see what happens. You can see what appears to be two students struggling in the hallway as a crowd of other students watch them with their cell phones out. A school spokesperson tells us this fight happened as students were heading to lunch, and that's when the stabbing occurred. A student whose identity we've concealed shared the terrifying moments she witnessed. I was just coming out of my class, and I just seen everybody huddled around. I didn't think much of it because it's a small hallway, so... And we're just going towards lunch, but then as soon as I got closer, I seen um, everyone like huddled, I think, yeah, huddled. And then all I see is just a guy in black have blood on his face and then some guy um, like on the floor with blood on him. You can imagine how scary this must have been for her and her peers. I also want to point out this is the first full week of school. Last week, students here at Jefferson High, they only attended school for one day on Thursday. You know, as we've been talking to so many people, there are a lot of questions. There are a lot of concerned concerns. I've also obtained emails sent to parents from the district. According to those emails, parents were notified of the stabbing at around 1218 this afternoon. And according to another email, the, su the student now charged in this crime, he ran away from the school after the crime and it wasn't until 1.30 this afternoon when Greeley police were finally able to make that arrest. But of course, everyone in this community breathing a sigh of relief that they have some answers. Of course, they're hoping for more and we're working to gather more details. Back to you. All right, CB Cotton and Greeley tonight. Thanks, CB.